Hi, my name is Isabella. Today I will show you how to send bulk emails without spamming with Max Bulk Mailer. Indeed, email marketing can be a great way to reach out to potential customers and promote your product or service. But if you're not careful, it can also end up in the spam folder. In this video, I'll show you how to send bulk emails without spamming so that you can get your message across without being blocked by spam filters. Tony, please, can you explain to us what spamming is? Isabella, spamming is the act of sending unsolicited emails, often in large numbers. This can be done for commercial purposes, such as promoting a product or service, or for other purposes, such as phishing or spreading malware. It is considered a form of spam because it is generally unwanted by the recipient and takes up their time and resources. It's important to make sure that your emails are relevant and interesting to your recipients. If you're sending out mass emails that are all the same, it's likely that many of them will end up in the recipient's spam folder. Spamming is a huge problem for email marketers. It not only hurts your reputation, but can also get you blacklisted by ISP. That's why it's important to know how to send bulk emails without spamming. There are a few key things you can do to avoid spamming when sending bulk emails. Don't use false or misleading headers in your emails. This includes using a from address that isn't yours or using a subject line that doesn't accurately reflect the content of the email. Don't include any type of attachment in your bulk emails. Attachments are often used by spammers to spread viruses. Keep your email list clean and up to date. Remove any addresses that have bounced or been marked as spam. Use a double opt-in process for new subscribers. This means that they must confirm their subscription before they start receiving your emails. This helps to reduce the chances of someone accidentally subscribing to your list. Use the max bulk mailer spam check function and try to fix all possible delivery issues. This will help to ensure that your emails don't end up in the recipient's spam folder. Thanks, Tony. In addition, I would also recommend you to use a reputable email server. This will ensure that your emails are delivered to the inbox and not marked as spam. Personalize your emails. Bulk emails that look like they were sent to everyone on your list are more likely to be marked as spam. Include the recipient's name in the subject line and body of the email to make it look more personal. Don't overdo it with the links. Too many links in an email can be a red flag for spam filters. If you're including links in your email, make sure they're relevant and add value for the reader. Keep your messages short and to the point. By following these tips, you can help ensure that your bulk emails will be delivered without being marked as spam. There's no question that sending bulk emails can be a great way to reach a large audience quickly. But how can you tell if your bulk email campaign is truly successful? Here are a few tips. Check your open rate. This is the percentage of people who opened your email out of the total number of people who received it. A good open rate is around 20 and 30%. Look at click-through rates. This is the percentage of people who clicked on at least one link in your email. A good click-through rate is around 2 and 5%. Measure conversion rates. This is the percentage of people who took the desired action after receiving your email, such as making a purchase or signing up for a newsletter. A good conversion rate is around 1 and 2%. Analyze unsubscribe rates. This is the percentage of people who unsubscribed from your email list after receiving your message. A good unsubscribe rate is around 1 and 2%. Evaluate complaint rates. This is the percentage of people who marked your email as spam after receiving it. A good complaint rate is around 0.1%. In conclusion, sending bulk emails doesn't have to be spammy. There are a few things you can do to make sure your messages get through and that they're well received by your recipients. By following the tips in this video, you can send bulk emails without worrying about spamming anyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Please visit our website at maxbrog.com. See you in the next video. Have a great day.